Get right to your forecast. We are watching two things. First thing is a cold front that's going to come through tomorrow night. Now, we have the front coming through the area dry, but there is a very small chance that areas up near the Pennsylvania border could see a slight chance by late tomorrow night and then cooler weather to follow behind that. Then we've got the weekend forecast to talk about, which is still looking a bit complicated at this point, and I'll try to explain here in just a second. But here's what you can expect overnight tonight cool and quiet overnight. Temperatures calling into low 50s here for overnight lows, but then warmer for Wednesday. We were in the mid 70s this afternoon. We'll be back in the lower 80s here for highs on your Wednesday. Looks like a very nice hump day across the area. Then once the front comes through the area, we're going to cool off here towards the end of the week. Still going to be nice. Temps low to mid 70s Thursday and Friday. And then we're still looking at slight chances for showers for Memorial Day weekend as temperatures right now holding at 59 here in Baltimore out at BWI Thurgood Marshall with a humidity running about 64 percent so that uh, dew point coming up a little bit making it a little bit uh, more moist if you will outside not necessarily humid but the moisture is starting to pick up as temps are in the 50s across the state and that's about where we're going to end up here overnight tonight low 50s under a partly cloudy sky plenty of sunshine though topping out near 80 here for tomorrow afternoon under a mixture of cloud and sunshine. We have those high clouds streaming across the area throughout the day today and still some of that haze from the smoke from those wildfires and far, far from parts of western Canada. But the pattern that's going to be setting up towards the end of the week is again what we call a Rex block. High pressure over low pressure and basically what happens when this sets up things just can't move along the way they're supposed to. And so this upper level low is what we're going to be paying very close attention to and it's going to be fighting with this high as it tries to drift northward here as we get towards the weekend. And that's what could bring us that slight chance for some rain towards the latter part of the holiday weekend. But as we go through tomorrow high clouds to start off the day partly cloudy during the afternoon. Here comes the cold front. By this time tomorrow night, we'll be watching for a slight chance for showers along the front as it moves through, but it looks like it should mostly come through our area dry. But then we're going to be looking at cooler weather, quiet weather for the end of the week, and then we're going to keep our eyes on this upper level low as it tries to drift northward. Now, again, the chances for rain for the holiday weekend still look very small at this point, as most of it should stay off to our south. But this pattern is very difficult to forecast, and there's a good chance that we're likely going to be making some adjustments to the rain chances depending on how this pattern evolves. But right now, the chances for rain look small. Towards the end of the weekend here, we're looking at only a 20% probability here for Sunday into Memorial Day. First alert, 7 day forecast. Rest of the week looks good. Up to the low 80s tomorrow with sunshine and then a few more clouds, though, as we head into the upcoming weekend. Okay, we'll take that very much. Yep. Thank you, Richard Derrick. Mm -hmm. uh, for more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Cindy Gabrab, Tim Williams, and Marty Bass tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4.30.